So fresh off the water, John Wenning, another breezy, uh, tricky day, and yet again, you guys at the front. Uh, how do you guys do it? Um, well, the boat just felt like it was best it's felt all year. I um, just felt like it was tr really trucking. Uh, it was good out of the start, and uh, good all in. We took it a little bit easy down that reach. <coughs> um, and good downhill, which just was going, and some probably what Channel 7 feels like all the time. <laughs> Let, no doubt you were quick up wind, you could, you, you, we, we are, you were certainly fast for sure, but um, for the rest of the guys in the fleet, every time it gets fresh, you're one of the few boats that stays upright, you know you've got years of experience, but is there one single tip you could give to people, how do you three keep this boat upright pretty much all the time? Well we probably don't push quite as hard, that's because we want to stay upright. <laughs> <laughs> so you know when to back off slightly? Yeah, yeah, well, that's, I think, you know, they, they try hard, I sit in downhill because I'm probably getting too old and but it is safer and most of the time it's just as quick when you get to the bottom mark you're with them um, it's that in between when it's really fresh it's fast when it's just in between you've sort of got to go out and power up but certainly dangerous certainly if I'm out there anyway yeah, well a great performance today and last comment just a quick word that reduced rig first time we've seen a what looks like almost a reefed mainsail it clearly worked today what was your feeling well it felt great we put it in when we made the sail bigger and uh, we were going to use it in the worlds, but we hadn't tried it, so we didn't. And I just said today, well, today's probably a good day. We'll at least know what we're talking about, and uh, seems to be the goods here. Yeah. Well, it looks like something we're going to be seeing uh, next year. It went so well today, and this season, John, there's one more race to go. It's been a pretty good year, isn't it? Big turnout. Good for the sponsors, good for the fleet. Uh, what's your thoughts on this year? No, it's been a good year, and I think we've got a few new interested people next year. We'll probably still get 17, 18 boats. That's about all. There seems to be enough keen people that are good enough to sail them, so that makes a good fleet though. Sure, and you'll be uh, here for yet one more year? Oh, a couple more left in me, I hope, yeah. Matt, so uh, coming out of retirement, and he sort of went round first, kind of, except but Pure Blonde bore away rather more quickly, and probably ended up sure, first, Mark. Pure Blonde, that's my boat, Matt. Pure Blonde, she's oh, first on the water, so I, I'll give that to Pure Blonde uh, for doing a much better turn. Matt Searle for forgetting to put the tiller down, and not having uh, quite the crew in the right place. So DeLonghi are in second after Pure Blonde. Tricky uh, jiving angle down here. Yeah, oh, they're going is, that was a horrible, I'm afraid. That oh. was a great, on camera, we got it in camera, that was a, a wonderful exhibition of how not to jive a skip. Uh, sorry to say that to the Pure Blonde guys, but when they look at the video, they'll realise that it all went wrong. Shame, I think they were playing that, tactically playing that run very nicely. Watching Asco come down here, missed the start, had a lot of capsize there, they're more strife than speed on with a very much reefed looking spinning of the air. I think their day is over well and truly now. Can't do much with that, Marky, so Asco down for the day. It's just got this thing nicely positioned on this downwind uh, leg to chowder. And he's right underneath the Lumix now, Mark. That's, that's yep. I reckon that's worked it, time. Yeah, he's done the depth for sure. The other thing that seems to happen when you have the hounds sitting in is you can actually sail the boat more upright. When you're on the wire, you tend to want to have the boat healing all the time. Uh, it just seems to be that what happens with uh, helmsman uh, helming from the wire, John Winning keeping the boat very level, uh, almost healing to windward. And that is quick if you can keep it like that and keep your crew out the water.